Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Till now, I have posted around 20 YouTube videos on Tricentis Tosca Automation Specialist Level 1 and Level 2. So you can visit all these videos by clicking on my channel link which is displaying on the screen and then you can go through all those videos. So from this day onwards, I'm going to concentrate on Tricentis Tosca Test Design Level 1 and Level 2 concepts and I'll be posting around 20 more videos to cover all these topics related to test design specialist level 1 and level 2. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on Tosca concepts. Thank you. Okay, so this is our lesson one on Tricentis Tosca test design concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to concentrate on some theoretical concepts before we actually, I'm going to walk you through the Tosca automation tool. So in this session, I'll explain you some of the theoretical concepts related to requirements section that which is available in Tricentis Tosca tool and also test case design section which is available in Tosca tool. Okay, so first any test life cycle starts with requirements. What does requirements mean? So in this phase we are gonna identify what are the requirements that are required to test a software and also what are the areas that need to be tested and also we need to analyze what risk is attached to these requirements. So all these we can achieve by using a requirements section in Tricentis Tosca tool. So if you see the diagram the requirement section is notated by yellow color. So in Tricentis Tosca the same color is being represented by the Tosca tool for the requirements. And once we complete analyzing us all three areas and then you will be moving on to the test planning stage. If you see in the diagram, the test case design, design test case is represented with the red color, right? In the task also, that section is represented in red color. So once you move on to the test planning stage, we have to estimate how many test cases need to be designed to cover all these identified requirements. And then what are all the test cases look like? Basically, how does the test cases look like later on and what test data combinations do I need to cover to execute all these requirements. Once we complete these two sections which is requirements and design test cases and then we will move on to the test case development. So which I already explained you guys in my previous videos for Tosca Automation Tools Specialist Level 1 and 2. That means the development of test cases will use the information from requirements and from the design test cases sections. And then we'll be moving on to the execution list. That means once you develop the test cases, we are going to execute the test cases. And then we will move on to generate reports. So this generation of the reports uses the information from requirements and also from the design test cases to generate a meaningful reports and dashboards for the higher management. Defining requirements in Tosca. So it is very much possible and this can be done in Tricentis Tosca automation tool. 
so it is possible in Tasca to track which requirements have been tested and which requirements have not been tested fully. So this helps entire project team and testing team to obtain an overview of the current state of the project. Through risk priority assessment, you will be able to weight the requirements to determine where the greatest risk lies and also to know where to start testing. So with the above capability, it is possible to determine what risks have already been tested and we can focus the testing on the most critical areas that are not been covered. And also we can discover the problems at early stage and we can take action accordingly. And risks can be continuously monitored and measure your project status. So it is very important in Tosca that the capability of weighting the requirements on risk based, which means we can perform risk based testing, which is very important concept for testing. So next design test cases. So before I move on to the design test cases, so whatever I explained to you about requirements section, right? Basically how to create a requirement structure and how can we weight the requirements based on the risk. So we will be weighting the requirements in two different concepts like basic weighting and also depending upon the risk of the requirements will be weighing. So I'm going to explain all these concepts practically by walk you through the Tosca automation tool. Okay. So now let's move on to design test cases, which is mentioned in red color in the diagram. Okay. So if you see the diagram, uh, the bar graph, right? So where the first bar shows the established approach that we are following by using other tools. And the second bar shows you the Tricentis approach. What is the difference between these two bars? So the first bar, which is a traditional approach where one third of the efforts being spent on test case design and rest of the three fourth of the effort that we are spending on test case execution. Whereas the Tricentis approach recommends you to spend more on test case design so that you can write the test cases in detail based on the risk that is involved for each requirement. And we are going to reduce the amount of the efforts that we are spending on test case execution. So that means you will be reducing the efforts on test case execution where we will be running the test cases over and, and over and over and over again and again as a regression test cases. So Tricentis Tosca approach is to increase the efforts in test case design to avoid the risks at early stage by using risk based approach and then reduce the efforts in test case design. So this saves a lot of efforts and money by using Tricentis Tosca in testing. So what does this design test case contains? So first we have to plan and specify your test cases and then more time spent upfront in test case design and ensure an efficient and effective testing process. And finally, link test cases back to the requirements and use requirements as a dashboard for a quick overview. So which means we are using the data that is being collected in the form of design test cases to link back to the requirements so that it projects a very nice dashboards where management can easily understand where does the risk involves, 
where what is the status of the project hope you understand this concept hope you all understand the concepts of requirements section and test case design section in tricentis tosca so with this i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to cover remaining theoretical concepts and also the practical session i'm going to walk you through the tosca tool in creating requirement structure and how can we you define the requirements under requirement sets and also how can you design the test cases so all these concepts i'm going to walk you through the tosca tool in the next video session hope you all understand the concepts please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on tosca concepts thank you